Greetings, my scattered brothers and sisters in the Lord. Trust you know the Lord is with you wherever you find yourself scattered today, and that you know that his presence with you is more than enough for whatever you might face today. We are continuing on in that first big paragraph of 1 Peter chapter 1, where Peter is giving praise to God. It goes something like this, Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his great mercy has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, and new birth into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil, or fade, which is being kept in heaven for us, who are being shielded by God's power through faith for the salvation that has already been prepared for us. In this salvation we greatly rejoice, though now for a little while, we may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. And these have come so that our faith, which is more valuable than gold, which perishes even though refined by fire, may be proved genuine and may result in praise and glory and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. In Jesus, we love him, though we have not seen him. I think it's actually backwards. Though we have not seen him, we love him. And though we do not see him now, we believe in him, and we are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy, for we are receiving the, sal the goal of our faith, the salvation of our souls. Now, it's this last part that we want to work on today, that though we do not see him or though we have not seen him, we love him, and though we do not see him now, we believe in him. So... What I think is going on here is though we have not seen him, we love him, is kind of a reference backwards. Uh, Peter saw, the, saw Jesus, uh, both in his earthly ministry and his resurrection appearances. But the people that Peter is writing to are like you and me. Uh, we weren't around to see Jesus in his earthly ministry. We weren't around to see the risen Jesus. So though we have not seen him, we love him because he gave his life for us. He died on the cross for us, that we could be set free, that we could have hope. So even though we never saw him face to face, we love him. Uh, he gave himself for us. And though you do not see him now, you believe in him. Now Peter is saying, okay, not only did you not see the earthly Jesus or his resurrection appearances, but you presently do not see him, and yet you believe in him. And we believe in him because even though we don't see him, it's like we've heard the news, we believe his spirit is present. And so there is this interaction, there is this, this conviction, this awareness that Jesus is risen and that through his spirit we are able to pray to him, uh, have communion with him. And so though we have not seen him, we love him. Though we do not see him now, he's at the right hand of the Father, but through his Spirit we know him, we believe in him. And we are filled with this inexpressible and glorious joy. Why? Because we are receiving the goal of our faith, the salvation of our souls. Now, notice it's not you will receive, but it's you are receiving. You are receiving the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls. And again, kind of a little bit backing up a little bit further, might be going through all kinds of sufferings, okay? So even though now, for a little while, you may be going through all kinds of trials, suffering all kinds of stuff, uh, all of this is happening so that your faith may prove genuine, and it's going to result in praise and honor and glory when Jesus Christ is revealed. Okay, here's, here's the best way I know how to think about this. Uh, especially this, you are receiving the goal of your faith, the salvation of your souls, even now. Uh, I'd compare it to a workout. That in a workout, and you're suffering. Your heart's beating, you're dripping sweat, you're getting tired, and sometimes you don't even know if you're going to make it through the next five minutes or you're going to make it through the next couple of reps. Okay, and, and so it's tough right then and in that moment. Okay, but at the same time that there is that pain, there's also kind of a joy because you know that in that very moment, you're actually receiving the goal of your workout. 
the improvement of your health, the increase of your strength. And so even though you may not see the results in that moment, and it may be a tough moment, yet at the same time, you keep on doing the workout, you try to complete the exercise or the run or whatever it might be, because you know that in that you're actually receiving the goal of your workout, that your health is improving. Okay, so the same way in terms of what Peter is saying here in terms of our Christian faith, that though we have not seen him, we love him. Though we do not see him now, we believe in him because we are receiving the goal of our faith, the salvation of our souls. And so there is a joy in that that is inexpressible and that is glorious. So wherever you find yourself scattered today, remember that Jesus gave himself for you. You know, we weren't there to see him hanging on the cross, dying for us. But we've heard that, we know that, we've received that, we love him for that. And even though we don't see him now, uh, his, pres his spirit is present to us, but we don't see him right now, yet at the same time we believe in him, uh, because we know him through his spirit. And so that relationship uh, gives us joy, and we know that no matter what we're going through, so long as we keep our faith in Jesus, Jesus is going to use that to grow us. And we're actually being saved. We're actually being refined in the process of going through it. Well, God bless. Have a great day wherever you are scattered. And know that as you trust in Jesus, no matter the challenge, you're actually receiving now the salvation of your soul. God bless.